What is up, everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Today, we are checking out the Great Eastern Effects Co. Small Speaker Overdrive. Now, what is this thing? Well, it's, it's really based on uh, the little Tweed amps uh, with Class A power sections. Think uh, like a Tweed Champ with the smaller kind of 8-inch speakers. The thing with those amps is, of course, if you put that thing next to, you know, a 1 by 12, 20 watt, 3 watt, 40 watt amplifier, um, it's not going to sound as massive. But the great thing about these little champs that had like 8 inch speakers in them is because there wasn't so much low end uh, content, you really got like a nice focused uh, mid out of it that literally mixed itself. Uh, when it came to, to tracking, you put a mic in front of that thing and it just sounds great in the mix right away. And then combine that with what was typically a class A power section, you get all of that kind of tube uh, sag and overdrive uh, that sounds so great. So it, this pedal definitely nails that, but at the same time, this is not just like a cranked little tweed champ it can certainly do that and i used it for that in the uh in the performance song i kind of had that Dwayne allman uh kind of jessica thing on my mind but anyways um you can certainly do that but it's also very very dynamic as a push box it's super uh touch sensitive um, and we'll get into how that sounds in the demo uh, for sure but what's on the top of the box you've got gain that's exactly what you think it is You've got a high and low for contouring. And then of course you've got your level, which is the output of the pedal. We'll get into how all of that sounds. And of course you've got your foot switch. It runs on nine volt DC, top mounted jacks, pedal board friendly. So yeah, without uh, further ado, let's, uh, let's check out the small speaker overdrive by Great Eastern Effects Co. Okay, let's check this thing out. Uh, here's my guitar just into the amp. I'm plugged into a Sir Bella. I've got it dialed real clean. We're gonna have the pedal do all the work. Here is the small speaker overdrive. Okay, so just some noodling around and uh, changing some of these controls. Uh, one thing I noticed about this right away is it's very expressive, especially when you've got it just kind of pushing as opposed, I mean, obviously it'll do the, those super kind of uh, driven, uh, you know, little tweed era combo thing. But one thing I really liked about it is how it responded more as just like a, a push, especially with single coil guitars. <laughs> Just really expressive and just kind of makes everything bloom.
express it without having to back the guitar off or anything, just kind of changing uh, how I play and attack the guitar. So with the Telecaster, let's just do the gain. So gain off. Here's a gain uh, at noon. Here's a gain all the way up. Uh, let's go ahead and do the lows. thing with the lows is it does what you know I would expect you know a little combo amp to do it'll it'll definitely create gain uh, when you dime it out but that's a cool tone especially if you're gonna do a solo <laughs> okay let's do the highs highs off highs at noon Highs all the way up. So the, the highs, uh, they don't get super shrill. It's not crazy active. But it's very usable. Especially with a single coil guitar. level clobber the front end of the amp a little bit I'm wondering and I guess that would be a question for David but I'm wondering if that's creating a little bit of internal gain in the circuit but it sounds really great I like it to bump about there so Sounds great with a Tele, for sure, single coil guitar. Let me switch to a Les Paul really quick. Okay, got my Les Paul. I haven't changed anything on the, uh, the pedal. Let's just see what happens. So, neck position, bridge. So this definitely responds uh, to a Les Paul the way I would expect uh, a little kind of tweed, you know, combo to respond. It, it squishes down just a little bit. Obviously there's some more gain there. These pickups aren't super hot. So like neck position tones. Could add some highs. I would roll some lows out. Maybe go this route. Maybe just a little more level. Maybe add some gain, cut some more lows actually. Because for me, when I'm tracking, especially even a mic'd up little combo like that, you still want, the whole idea is to have kind of a more focused mid and less lows. Um, here's a gain all the way up.
course, we can roll those in. And same thing applies if you roll all this off, we'll leave the highs kind of there, rolls, roll the lows out, highs up, gain back, a little more level. You can get that same kind of cool push tone. So that is the uh, Small Speaker Overdrive by Great Eastern Effects. If you've got any more questions about it, go to the website. And as always, I really appreciate you guys tuning in, and we will see you next time.